Good morning, YouTube. My name's Evie, and today we'll be going over all the requests in the Elsewhere Forest. This one goes out to Myra. Thank you for the request. Let's get into it. Elsewhere Forest. From the starting area, you can go to any one of these four areas. Each of them is going to be a different season. So we have fall, summer, winter, and spring. All four of these seasons are going to lead you to this pathway right over here. And this fork over here is no different than any alternate route throughout the rest of the game. The top one will take you up and the bottom one will take you down. Now, how do we control which one of the four seasons we go to? If you feed Espeon a fluff root, it'll take you to spring. If you hit Espeon with a luminate orb, it'll take you to summer. If you play music, Trevenant will move out of the way. You can scan and take the alternate path. Now Espeon will move locations. At this new location, if you feed Espeon a fluff root, you'll go to autumn. If you hit Espeon with an Illumina orb, you'll go to winter. To unlock the alternate path, once you're in zone 3, you're going to turn to your right and there should be a crystal blue. Throw a Lumina orb at it and a deerling should appear from the right. There we go. Once you see the reaction, we're going to take a look to the left and we'll see another crystal bloom. Throw an Illumina orb at it. Now deerling should come over here. Once she stops, we're going to go around this tree trunk and throw another Illumina orb at the crystal bloom towards the back. Do not hit this front one. Now deerling will appear. There we go. Once Steerling stops, we're going to go around this hill. Once we see this Crystal Bloom, we're going to throw Illumina Orb at it. Espeon will appear, and then Deerling will appear, and then Sawsbuck will appear. Now Espeon will run off. Now Sawsbuck and Deerling will run off, and you'll have unlocked this pathway. A Calming Air. For this one, we're going to take the alternate path from Zone 3. To get to Zone 3, just go straight. If you don't have this alternate path unlocked yet, check out the timestamps in the description to learn how. Once you're here, we're going to get a little bit closer to this tree trunk over here. And scan. You should see an Espeon. Scan one more time. And he'll jump down. Now throw a fluff root towards Espeon and he'll eat it. Take a picture of him eating the fluff root. Now you can quit and submit. A moment's rest. For this one, we're going to go to the end of the level where the Celebi is. To get there, just go straight. Once we're here, we're going to head under the big tree and look to our left. Once we're here, on the left, we should see a tail. Throw a Lumina Orb at Superior's tail and come around. Superior should be out. Now throw a Fluff Root on the ground and he'll eat it. Perfect. Once he's done eating it, he'll have a little reaction. Play some music. And he'll curl into a ball. Take a picture of that. Now you can quit and submit. A pair of chums. For this one, we're going to go to the summertime. To do that, we're going to follow this Espeon until he sits down. Once he's seated, we're going to throw a Lumina Orb at him, and he's going to take off. This will guarantee that we go into the summertime. Once we're here, we're going to head to the area where we're crossing the street. Once you're here, there should be a Drapa to your right. Throw a Lumina Orb at her. Now we're going to head to Zone 3 and take the alternate path. If you don't have this alternate path unlocked yet, check out the timestamps in the description to learn how. Once we're here, turbo boost a little bit and get ready to take a picture. We want to take a picture of Panchem on Drapa's head with Bulbasaur in frame as well. There we go. Now you can quit and submit. A Seasonal Gathering. For this one, we're going to take the alternate path from Zone 3. If you don't have this alternate path unlocked yet, check out the timestamps in the description to learn how. Once you're here, we're going to get a little bit closer to this tree trunk in front of us on the left. Once we get in position, zoom in and scan, and you should see an Espeon. Focus on Espeon and scan one more time, and she will jump down. Now feed her a fluff root. Once she's done eating, she's going to run off to our left. She's going to jump on the ledge and run through. Once she stops, throw a Lumina Orb at her, and she'll clean herself. Now we're going to look to our left, and there should be a Crystal Bloom in this tight little spot. Throw an Illumina Orb at it, and now there should be four Sawsbuck. So now we have one, two, three, four. Now we want to get all four Sawsbucks in frame. Play some music, take a picture, now you can quit and submit. A Tad Happy. For this one, we want to take the alternate route from Zone 3. To get to Zone 3, just go straight. 
If you don't have this alternate path unlocked yet, check out the timestamps in the description to learn how. Once you're here, on your right you should see a low tad, throw a bluff root at him. Now he's going to run off into the stream. Around this tree you'll see two more low tad. Now we're going to wait for the third one to join. Once he's here, play some music and they'll stack up under the water. Once they pop up, they'll swim a little bit closer to you. Throw a Lumina Orb at them, take a picture of the reaction. Now you can quit and submit. An Airborne Boulder. This one's going to be done at the beginning of the level, where this flying boulder is to your right. Once you're here and you see Trevenant, play some music, and you'll get her attention. She'll move out of the way, now you can scan and take this new route. Continue forward and you'll see some Esper making the rock float. You want to take a picture with the Esper as the focus and the entire rock in play. There we go. Now you can quit and submit. Angry Drampa. For this one, we're going to go to the summertime. To do that, we're going to follow this Espeon to where he sits down. Once he's seated, throw a Lumina Orb at him and he'll take off. This will guarantee that we go into the summertime. Once we're here, we're going to go to the area where we're crossing the stream. Once you're here, take a look on your right and you should see a Drampa with a Pancham and a Bulbasaur. Throw a Lumina Orb at Drampa. Now we're going to go to Zone 3 and take the alternate path. If you don't have this alternate path unlocked yet, check out the timestamps in the description to learn how. Once we're here, we're going to go forward a little bit and Drampa should fly by. There we go. Now we're going to follow Drampa until he stops. Once he stops, Pancham and Bulbasaur should jump off. There we go. Now we're going to throw a fluff root at Bulbasaur and get ready to take a picture of Drampa. You want to take a picture of him with his eyes pink? Now you can quit and submit. Danger warning. For this one, we're going to head to the zone with Celebi. To get there, just keep going straight. Once you're here, take a look on your right and there should be a beware. Throw a fluff root at her and just keep throwing fluff root. The moment she lifts her hands up, you're going to start taking pictures. There we go. Now you can quit and submit. Egg Patrol. For this one, we're going to go to the summertime. To do that, we're going to follow Espeon to where he sits down. Once he's seated, we're going to throw a Lumina Orb at him, and he's going to take off. This will guarantee that we go to the summer. Once we're here, we're going to go to the end of this zone where there's an unpheasant on your left. Once we're here, we're going to take a look at this one that's on the nest. Throw a fluff root at her, and she's going to start flapping her wings. You want to take a picture with the egg in frame? Now you can quit and submit. Flickering Flames. For this one, we're going to go to the winter. To get there, we're going to follow this Espeon until he sits down. Once we see him seated, we're going to play some music and look at the Trevenant on our right. She's going to dance and get out of our way. Now scan and take the alternate path. Espeon will follow and stop up ahead. Once he stops, throw a Lumina Orb at him and he'll take off. This will guarantee that we go into the winter. Once we're here, look to your right and Gardevoir should appear. Start spamming Illumina Orbs at him until he disappears. Once he disappears, he'll reappear in this tree next to the Unpheasant and start spamming Illumina Orbs again until he disappears. Now he'll appear on this bottom area and the Deerling will follow. I recommend staying zoomed in at this point to make the Neo one go slower. Gardevoir will throw some snow in the air and disappear. At this point, the Deerling will run around a little bit once they stop, throw a fluff root at one. And that'll annoy Ninetales. The Deerling will take off and Ninetales will come towards you. Once Ninetales is in front of you, throw a fluff root at him. And he'll get mad. Take a picture of his reaction. Now you can quit and submit. Gust with Gusto. For this one, we're going to head to the spring section. To do that, we're going to go to where Espeon is going to be sitting in the middle of this path. Once we're here, throw a fluff root for Espeon to eat. Make sure you don't hit him. He'll reject it. Now that'll guarantee that we go into the spring. Once you're here, look up and to your right and you should see a shift tree sleeping in a tree. Throw a fluff root at it. Now be ready to throw a Lumina Orb. He's going to jump once, twice, and on this third branch, you want to hit him with that Lumina Orb. There we go. I was going to go over to this tree over here. And there's going to be a crystal bloom there. Now we're going to throw a Lumina Orb at the crystal bloom and get ready to take a picture of Shiftry. You want a picture of her using Gust, which should be a four star photo. Now you could quit and submit. Heart of a Dragon. For this one, we're going to go to the Autumn. 
To do that, we're going to follow Espeon to where he sits down. Once you see Espeon seated, play some music and look at this Trevenant. Once we see him seated, we're going to play some music and look at the Trevenant on our right. She's going to dance and get out of our way. Now scan and take the alternate path. Espeon will follow and stop up ahead. Once Espeon stops moving, feed him a fluff root. He'll reject it and take off. This will guarantee that we go into the auto. Once you're here, you want to scan, zoom in, and stay zoomed in. On your left, you should see a deerling and applin. You want to throw fluff root to pull the deerling by applin. Once deerling's close enough, he'll notice applin. There we go. And applin will wake up and do a little roar. Now you can quit and submit. It might take a couple tries to get a good photo, but it'll still get the request done. Little Lost Deerling. For this one, you want to make sure you have six photo burst on, and we're going to go to the third zone. You can't miss this zone. You'll be there no matter what path you take. Once you're here, you're going to look to your right and there should be a crystal bloom. Throw a Lumina Orb at it and a Deerling should pop out. Once Deerling interacts with the crystal bloom, look to your left and there should be another one. Throw a Lumina Orb at that one as well and Deerling will follow. There we go. Once he interacts with it, we're going to look to our left and go around this tree. And there will be two crystal bloom. You want to hit the one on the far side. Do not hit this front one. Now Deerling will continue to follow along. There we go. Once he interacts, we're going to look forward again and go around this hill. Once we're here, we'll see our final Crystal Bloom. Throw a Lumina Orb at it, and Espeon will pop out. And Deerling will pop up. Now make sure you are on 6 Photo Burst. The photo we're looking for is very frame dependent. Once you see Sawbuck, start taking photos of Deerling with Espeon and Sawbuck in frame. Now you could quit and submit. When I was trying to complete the request, I would get a lot of three star photos with one four star mixed into the middle and you're looking to get that four star photo. Every once in a while, all of my photos would be four star. So I'm not sure what really caused that, but I was getting quite a few three stars with only one four star photo mixed into the middle of all of them. So I do recommend using the six photo burst. Myth of the forest. For this one, we're going to go to the end of the level where the Celebi is. To get there, just go straight. Once you're here, you should see Celebi flying around. You need to hit it with an Illumina Orb before it disappears. If you don't, you'll have to start over. The easiest time to hit Celebi is after it goes around this tree. There it is. There we go. Now it's going to disappear, and we're going to go under this big tree. Once we're here, we're going to take a look to our right, and there should be some fluff. We're going to throw some fluff root. Celebi is going to take one and eat it. And then disappear. Once that's done, we're going to turn around. And Celebi should be sitting. Throw a Lumina Orb at it. And more Celebi will appear. Wait till they fly down. Once they're all down here, play some music and take a picture of their reaction. Now you can quit and submit. Sylvan Sentinel's Secret Side. This one's going to be done at the beginning of the level. We're going to go forward to where the boulder is floating on our right. Once we're here, take a look in front of you and there should be an Esper on a little ledge. We're going to scan. She'll fly down. Perfect. Now we're going to make a fluff root line to get her closer to Trevenant. And then we're going to throw a Lumina Orb at both. And an interaction should take place. We're going to take a picture of Trevenant with both in frame during the interaction. Oh, well, I guess we ran into a bug. Throw a Lumina Orb at both. There we go. Take a picture of that interaction with Trevenant as the focus. Now you can quit and submit. Upside down, hide and seek. For this one, we're going to head to the spring section. To do that, we're going to go by this Espeon in the middle of the path. Once you're here, feed Espeon with a fluff root. He'll reject it and take off. This will guarantee that we go to spring. Once you're here, you want to keep your eye on the right. Behind these trees, there's going to be a little invisible case Leon. Once you get nearby, zoom in, throw a Lumina Orb at it, and she should become visible. Take a picture of her, and you can quit and submit. Weird Crossing. For this one, we're going to go to the end of the level by the Celebi. Once you're here, you're going to go forward until you see Bulbasaur. Once you see Bulbasaur, Take a look to your right and there should be a little pond. Throw a Lumina Orb at the low tad in there and Bulbasaur should go around this tree. 
Once Bulbasaur shows up on the other side, throw a Lumina Orb at Lotad and Bulbasaur. Now Bulbasaur should jump on Lotad's head. There we go. Now take a picture of Bulbasaur with Lotad in frame. Now you can print and submit. Winter Wonder. For this one, we're going to go to the Winter. To do that, we're going to follow this Espeon until she sits down. Once we see Espeon sitting, we're going to play some music and look to our right. Trevenant should dance and get out of our way. Now we could scan and take the alternate path. Espeon will follow and go to a new spot. Once Espeon stops moving, throw a Lumina Orb at him and he'll run away. This will guarantee that we go into the winter. Once we're here, take a look on your right. There should be two Deerlings and a Gardevoir should appear. Start spamming Lumina Orbs at Gardevoir. Gardevoir will disappear and appear in the tree. Continue spamming Lumina Orbs and she'll disappear again and appear below. Continue spamming Illumina Orbs again, and she'll disappear one more time. There we go. And now she's going to appear here by the tree and the Crystal Bloom. Get a little bit closer, throw Illumina Orb at the Crystal Bloom, and Gardevoir should start to cast magic on the tree. As the ice begins to form on the tree, take a picture of Gardevoir, and I can quit and submit. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see the rest of my Pokemon Snap Guides, click on the playlist on the screen. If you want to see my latest content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.